Now we are out in the suburbs, but in the city preps are also underway. Let's send things now to my colleague Anthony Ponce. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Casey, thank you very much. Now, the uh, Department of Streets and Sanitation's formidable snow fighting fleet has pretty much been on mothballs all winter, but that changes tonight. Uh, it's de already deployed a, a fleet of about 200 snow fighting trucks in anticipation of this winter storm. Load her up. Mrs. O'Leary's plow locked and loaded for the winter storm expected to plow straight into Chicago. She is one of 200 city salt spreaders being deployed across the city to help Chicagoans navigate what's expected to be the city's first significant snowfall of the season. CDOT says the fleet's first priority will be to monitor arterial streets, Dusabo Lakeshore Drive, and bridges and overpasses, making sure those are clear and running well before turning their attention to the neighborhoods. But don't forget about the sidewalks and don't count on the city for help there. Able-bodied residents and business owners are required to clear a five-foot-wide path of any snow and ice, and a tiny lane just as wide as your shovel will not cut it. And with this storm expected to dump that heavy, hard-to-shovel variety, ER doctors say older folks with high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol, or living with obesity should outsource that task to avoid risk of a heart attack. But if you really stress the heart really suddenly, like you would with extreme exercise, like shoveling heavy snow, then it's possible that you are stressing your body to the point where some people end up with um, heart attacks or at least, you know, minor heart damage. And the city does not mess around when it comes to sidewalk shoveling. Residents who don't comply could be fined up to $500 per day. And business owners who don't comply, those fines could go all the way up to $1,000 per day. We are live downtown in anticipation of this snowfall. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32, Chicago. The storm affects travel on the roads and in the sky. A live look on the field at Midway, and so far so good. Only eight cancellations, but more than 100 flights delayed today, and delays are starting to get longer tonight. To the north at O'Hare, 61 flights canceled, more than 400 delayed. Uh, caveat here, some of those cancellations may be due to the grounding of 737 MAX 9 planes. Natalie's going to have much more on this frightening and developing situation in a moment. We will continue our coverage as the snow continues to make its way into the suburbs.